Hi everyone. Let's take a look at the following question. Simplify the expression and state any restrictions. x plus 8 divided by 2x squared plus 9x plus 10 minus x squared plus 13x plus 40 divided by 2x squared minus x minus 15 divided by x squared plus 10x plus 16 all over x squared minus 9. Step 1. Start with the belief system that you can do this even though it does look a little bit scary at first, but if you really go through it step by step, you can totally simplify this and state any restrictions. I am also gonna write down this second concept, which is kind of the key behind this question aside from mindset. Don't forget bet mass. This means you have to focus on dividing before you subtract. I'll say this again, bet mass. So because there's a fraction, subtracting another fraction divided by a third fraction or a rational function, you have to divide first, and that is key. So now we're going to go back and officially start this. Step one, I'm going to copy x plus 8. If you look at the denominator, I'm going to factor 2x squared plus 9x plus 10. So I'm thinking 2x times x will give you 2x squared. I'm thinking about the factors of 10 that will give you a sum of 9. So for example, 5 plus 4 will give you 9. Now likewise, if I look at the second part, I'm going to factor x squared plus 13x plus 40. Again, x times x will give you x squared. I think about 5 times 8, which will give you 40. If I add them, that's going to be 13. If I look at the denominator, 2x squared means 2x times x. I'm also thinking about the factors of 15, so 5 and 3, and I'm looking for a sum of negative 1. So for example, negative 6 plus 5. Now, if I look at this last part, again, I'm going to keep the dividing symbol for now. I am going to switch this to multiplying in the following step. But when I think about x squared minus 9, that's going to be x minus 3, x plus 3. If I look at the numerator, that should be x plus 2, x plus 8. Now, before we keep going, write down every single restriction. And what I mean is you have to write down all the values for um, the restrictions, which means if you look at this carefully, I'll switch colors for you, x cannot be what? Well, from this first denominator, x can't be negative 5 divided by 2. From x plus 2, this means x plus 2 cannot be 0, so x cannot be negative 2. 2x plus 5, we did this already. x minus 3 cannot be 0, x cannot be 3. x minus 3, we just did x plus 3 cannot be 0, so x can't be negative 3. Now, I'm going to go slightly faster because in the following step, I'm going to take the reciprocal, right? So if you think about x plus 2, which will be in the denominator in a moment, again, x can't be negative 2, which we talked about. x plus 8 uh, cannot be 0. This means, again, x can't be negative 8. So again, we wrote down all the restrictions, which will add at the very end when we finish this. Now I'm going to go back again. I'm going to copy x plus 8 divided by 2x plus 5 times x plus 2. Now remember, your goal is to follow bad mass. So I am going to copy the second fraction, x plus 5, x plus 8 divided by 2x plus 5 times x minus 3. And I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal. So this is going to be x minus 3, x plus 3 in the numerator. And in the denominator, x plus 2, x plus 8. So again, when you're dividing by a fraction, you're multiplying by the reciprocal of that same fraction. So again, that's all I'm really doing right now. And if you go back to the restriction, we already mentioned that these are the new denominators, which we wrote down in terms of the restriction. x can't be negative 8, x can't be negative 2. Now, let's zoom in for you. Now, your goal is to simplify this. So I look at the second fraction and look at the top and the bottom. And I notice I can cross out x plus 8 from the top and the bottom. I can also cross out x plus 3 from the top and the bottom. Now, the rest of this, very, very, very doable. You got this. I'm looking for a common denominator, which is 2x plus 5 times x plus 2. I'm going to copy this first part, which is x plus 8 minus. Now, notice this bracket, and I'll put this in a different color for you. It's x plus 5 times x plus 3. So when I expand this inside this bracket, this equals to x squared 
plus 8x plus 15. So again, you can use the four arrows, expand this, collect like terms. But here comes the next step. I copy the common denominator, which is 2x plus 5 times x plus 2. If I look at the numerator, that's going to be x plus 8 minus x squared minus 8x minus 15. Now, if I collect like terms, that's going to be negative x squared minus 7x minus 7 divided by 2x plus 5 in brackets and x plus 2. Don't forget the restrictions that we wrote from the beginning. So I'm going to zoom out for a moment. Write down everything that we did from the beginning here. x can't be negative 5 divided by 2, negative 2, plus and minus 3, and negative 8. And I'll put a box around this. Again, this is how you simplify the expression and state any restrictions. If you find this math video meaningful, it's adding value to your math life, please comment, like, share, and subscribe. I hope this makes sense.